Hello everybody and welcome to episode 14 of The Colony, a Minecraft adventure presented to you by the Foss. Alright everybody, so today I figured I would start building the aqueduct as I have finally collected enough stone for it and that I would go over what the heck this thing is, uh, what I did during my off-camera time, and just what is this doing in the colony. So, I spent about three hours, actually about two hours, off-camera mining sand and stuff. I've got uh, I had set up a sand processing plant over here. Uh, as you saw, those e furnaces, well, to power so that they would all be powered at the same time. I built three new wind turbines, which is kind of nice. You know, it's always nice to have you know more power. So that's that's producing pretty well. I found a desert about one kilometer off in that direction. Jeez, it was not easy. I had to upgrade my shovel, as you can see. But anyway, that's beside the point. This is the basic plan for the greenhouse. All that stone are going to be walkways on the outer edges that I'm pointing at right now. Uh, is going to be a huge glass wall. The holes are where water from the aqueduct that I'm going to run down is going to channel into. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. In each one of those, they're 3x3 three three so that I can automate them using MFR. Can I make that jump? Yes, I can. So I can automate them using MFR, Mine Factory Reloaded, because they have uh, stuff that I can do that with. So let's just head on up to the top. Gonna have to hack a wall here. Let's just head on up so we can uh, build the aqueduct. I will be building most of that on camera. However, I will not be building the greenhouse on camera. That uh, in my next episode, likely it will be if I'm fin if I finish the aqueduct in this episode. Uh, I will likely. How do I get up there? I, I will likely uh, do it between episodes, just because of the sheer amount of time. It's probably gonna take me an hour to two hours to get it all mapped out. And I'm not going to bore you guys with an hour or two hours of just me um, planning out the greenhouse. And then building it, because building it's going to take a huge amount of time, too. So let's just head on up to the top here. Got lots of... Oh, an egg. Whew. Can we catch it? Let's catch the egg. Whoa, here goes, here goes, here goes. Oh, we missed it. Shoot. Okay, whatever. Whoa, hello. Oh, that's kind of cool. A little case system there. I think that's like... I always loved how um those... What are they called? Those... Oh, hello, sheep. Always loved how uh, extreme hills biomes would generate that, like those huge caves like that. Anyway, that's cool. So here we have the high mountain lake that was dropped in from the Carver Republic. Uh, there's a satellite orbiting way up there that just boom, boom launched it right in. So we now have this beautiful lake that we can aqueduct from. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do for it is I I'm trying to decide... If I should do like an underground reservoir, like a, like an underground kind of thing, or like an overground kind of thing. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to like mine out that right there, and I'm going to have it run out, and then spew out of the side, and then go into an aqueduct. Yeah, there we go. Let's do that. Let's do that. So, let's see. So, we're going to need to start digging here. So, we're going to need to get to like that spot right there. Let's get the coordinates for that spot. This is, this is how I build things. So, negative 267... 235. Okay. Okay, negative 267, 235. So let's go to the spot on the mountain where we want to have it come out at. Like, right... Let's have it come out right here. So now we're just going to, like, dig a hole straight back into it. Hopefully we don't run into the lake as we're doing this. Eh, it doesn't matter if we do. We can just go around it. I've got some coal in there. We can't have that. We can't have that. No. And then we're going to place this all up with stone brick, of course. Because we be cool like that. So, yeah, I'm actually quite proud of this first project we're working on here up in the colony. Uh, our first, let's see, our, our very first real project that we've got, uh, this, this aqueduct. I think it's going to be quite fun in the end. I think it's going to add just a nice, oh, clay. Cool. We need clay eventually for the, um, for the smokestacks that are going to surround the place. So hopefully we don't break into the water. But we're going to need that to make a ton of seared brick eventually because, uh, like I said, I want to have huge smokestacks sticking up. So if you look on my map there, right behind my red arrow, you can see that very slight little line there. That is the underground mapping that it's doing. Okay, so we could probably dig up here. Yeah, there we go. There would be the water coming down. Okay, so we're just going to cap that back up. All right, there we go. Okay. So now we've got this tunnel here, so we need to go... So one, so let's see, so two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need to have it drop down every seventh block. Because, you know, Minecraft only, water Minecraft only travels a certain way. So three, four, five, six, seven. You know, water only, oh, crap, well, there went the pickaxe. Oh, whatever. 
just use the Manulian one. I should have brought the temp pickaxe with me. That would have been the best idea, but alas, I did not bring the temp pickaxe. Actually, wait, we don't need to mine all that out, do we? We actually just kind of wasted that tunnel. Yeah, we'll just fill the, I'll just fill the tunnel back up uh, later. Actually, wait, we don't need to do that. <sighs> yeah, I'm actually, uh, you know, I'm quite proud of the aqueduct idea, actually. I think it would, um, I was actually sitting with some of my friends at lunch yesterday, and we were talking about what I should do, and I was originally just going to do a cobblestone aqueduct, but then a friend of mine uh, said, well, at least you're not trying to do it out of smooth stone, and I'm like, oh, oh, that's brilliant, you're a genius, I'm going to do it out of smooth stone. They said, well, you know, stone brick would be harder. And I'm like, yeah, stone brick. So I built all the stone bricks, uh, which, you know, wasn't too hard, but it's, it's it's the purpose of it. So we got to figure out when are we going to come out? Wait, is this it? Is this the end? No, it's it. <gasps> it is the end. Wait, what is this? What do we have here? Oh, oh, dear. Well, we can't have that. There we go. I think we're getting near to the end of this thing, to the end of this tube here. So one, two, three. Actually, we need it right here. And if any of this doesn't work, we can just adjust the water flow. But yeah, so the greenhouse, uh, it's going to, like I said, be a multi or be a multi tiered thing. Maybe. I I'm tossing the idea around right now, trying to figure out if that's actually what I want to do with it, because, you know, that's going to be a ton of time and effort put into that to make, the, um, to make it multi tiered. That would be done off camera, too, because as you guys know. Oh, here we go. Okay, we're. What's up? <laughs> oh my gosh, that was intense. But that's actually, that's not that big of a problem because that allows us to throw down the first support for the aqueduct, actually. Because I am truly into the idea. So I smelted all this stone just so I could have supports. Get out of there. So check it out, guys. This is, this is getting, this is really getting good. So we gotta have it come like right out. That's two I've wasted so far. Jeez, come on, don't do this to me. Where's it come out at? There we go. There's the outflow pipe. So now we gotta have like this right here. So this is basically what it's gonna look like. We gotta get rid of this. Ah, uh, yeah, we do. So this is basically what it's going to look like. What the aqueduct's going to look like is just like this kind of uh, this kind of flow thing like this. Uh, I I rather like it. So let's just put this out a couple more blocks. One, two, three, four, five, and then six. And then we're gonna drop down on the next one. So how do we? Do you see why I'm doing this on peaceful mode? So I can regenerate health really easily. Uh, so let's see. So if that's been one, two, three, four, five, six. So then we need to drop it down right here. Yeah. All right. So every every seventh block is where it's going to be. Wee! Okay, we can pick this up actually now. Wait, did I just I just lost my place? No, wait, no, I didn't. Uh, yeah. All right. Cool, guys. Cool. So every time it drops down, that's where I'm going to put a support beam, kind of like this. Much in the style of aqueducts of yore, or lore, of, or ancient. I don't know. I have no idea. We might even have to put, like, a couple waterfalls in here just to, um, just to get it so it actually comes right down to the colony. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do for the next one. So we can do that right there, do that right there, da 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 Well, cool. This is already coming along nicely. I, uh, a lot nicer than I thought it was going to be. Will that flow out of there? I don't think it will. It'll go down into the hole. Because water in Minecraft has that weird mechanic of if it detects a hole within a certain amount of radius, it'll go right to it. It's kind of cool. So let's see. So two. So like I've said in my previous episodes, uh, what do you guys want to see out of the colony? I'm always open to new uh, construction ideas. I'm always open to them. Just because I, I'm fresh out of ideas. After finding out that we could have the sawmill and that I'm going to build my stoneworks... I'm, uh, like I said, I'm fresh out. I have nothing, no ideas on what I want to do. See, I'm going to drop this down three blocks, so. I have no idea what I want to do for the colony. Uh, I mean, I've got a couple things I could do, but I want to hear your guys' uh, opinion on it. If you, I mean, even just like the most harebrained idea, I'll consider and probably end up doing just because I need, I need ideas. I did make it in the wrong spot. Oh dear. Um, yeah, whatever. We've got a Manulian pick. We can afford it. Oh, which reminds me, I smelted down all of the Manulian into uh, into uh, that one thing. 
uh, are smelted down all of the Ardite and Cobalt, sorry, into Manulian. Uh, which is kind of cool, uh, because I don't have to worry about that just sitting in chest. I also need to make a refuel run for the, uh, what do they call it, the smelter. Because my smelter is pretty much out of smelting power. Yeah, it's going to go up right there. So my smelter is pretty much out of smelting power. So I need more lava for it. So I'll have to make a run over to uh, yonder. It's actually, you can see the light from it. It's I think it's right there, yonder lava pit that I've been collecting out of this whole time. Jeez, I'm going to have to take you guys on a tour of the cave system below this world sometime, because only in modded Minecraft, I've noticed, do you see huge cave systems like I've got in this world. So it's one, two, three, four. Only in, uh, only in games like Minecraft do you see it. I have um, never seen it in any other game. Or not any other game, but in any other version of Minecraft that these brilliantly huge... Can I get back there? These huge, oh, I can't get back there, these huge uh, cave systems that you see in it. Like, I remember back on uh, Technic SSP, if anybody played Technic SSP, I hope that some of you guys did, because I loved Technic SSP. Uh, probably one of my favorite mod packs of all time, still to this day. Huge fan of it back in the day. Uh, I remember discovering, like, this, I remember I was going to build a city one time in it, and so I tried to generate a really nice world, and I generated one that was right by a river, and, oh my god. Gosh, it was so cool. It had so much neat stuff in it. Like, the river itself was a, uh... The river itself winded clear through, like, a plains so Can I make that jump? I can't make that jump, can I? It needs to be on 334. Yeah, so, um... I remember this river. It wound right through a plains biome. I'm right underneath it here. It wound right through this big ol' huge plains biome, which I've said like three or four times now, I apologize. Um, and it was just so unique, because underneath it was what I like to call the... Uh, it wasn't that. It was, um... I just called it like the huge cave system, I guess. Because it was massive. It had like just... It, it was almost like a lava tube. Like, it was just this huge tube underground that, for no particular reason whatsoever, spawned. Just a huge, just like like long tube, like 20, maybe 30 meters, probably more, probably like 50 actually in length across. And it had like a just huge lava. Like it was almost like, it was like a ravine that spawned incorrectly and ended up, see that needs to come down, we need to have that right there. It was almost like a ravine that spawned incorrectly and ended up just making a huge lava tube underground. It looked so cool. I was actually, um, I was really excited to find that. Oh, and of course, talking about caves, that just takes me back to the first world I ever had in Minecraft. Um, back on 1.7.2, some I think it was in like 2012 or 2011 that I got the game. Played it over at a friend's house and got it. But, oh my gosh, I called it The Poor, just because if you ever read the Tunnel series, you'd know what The Poor is a reference to. Uh, that it's like this huge, like, just, just like, vent in the ground, like a magma vent in the ground, I guess it was. Or under, uh, yeah, underground. That the characters in it had to go into. My friends and I were, my friend and I were huge fans of Tunnels back in the day. Uh, actually, we loved those books. But, oh crap, uh, whatever. So... I called it the poor just because at the time I didn't realize that uh, Minecraft could generate like long tubes just sticking straight down into the ground. But I found out in this world, right? I uh, I found this cave and it just led all the way down to like the bottom of the world. It had magma in it, and so you know me, new Minecraft player, all yay! It's got magma and all stuff. I, I remember the wonder of playing on that world and thinking, oh look at that! It's got and then I said, oh, it's got sapphires and stuff. Mine it. It's lapis lazuli. I'm like, oh, okay, it's lapis lazuli. <laughs> but I thought, uh, I always thought that was pretty funny. Uh, my lapis lazuli adventure. But I called it the poor just because it was just a straight down drop into the core of the world. Oh, gosh, I wish I still had that world. I'd take you guys on a tour of it. But sadly, the world was corrupted. I tried to move it over to my other computer. I tried to move it over to another computer of mine, uh, like a, a school computer that I had. This was probably four or five years ago. Not four or five years ago, but this was quite a long time ago, a couple summers ago. Oh, that's looking sweet. Somewhat sweet. I'll probably have to put, like, support beams on those. 
In fact, I probably will. In between the episodes, I'll probably take those down and put them somewhere else. But, uh, geez, I just remember, um, I tried to, I tried to move it in between worlds, or in between computers, and it didn't work. Somehow the level.dat file ended up corrupted, and it just, it screwed the whole thing up. So let's take a ride on the water. It ended up uh, corrupting the level.dat file, and, well, the entire world was lost. I, I couldn't use it anymore. I still had my inventory, but the entire world reset the terrain in it. Doesn't look like it's going any farther. I think I might have messed up. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Yeah, I did. It's not going any farther. Dude, this is so cool. Just like this aqueduct of water just coming straight out of the side of a mountain. Oh, this is cool, guys. Oh, there we go. Kick butt, man. There it is. That is what I am talking about. Oh, it's going. It's going. It's in the ravine. And it's in the ravine. Oh, that is what I'm talking about, guys. That is cool. Let's just stop the water up. Wait, we can. Oh, we can stop the water up. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, my gosh. I'm so happy right now just at how well this worked out. Get it? Well? Well? How well it worked out? <laughs> oh, gosh. This is this is pretty sick, you guys. I'm I'm having fun with this now. I'm so glad I decided to build this aqueduct. Just, you know, that kind of stuff has always inspired me. I've always been really interested in building cities and that kind of stuff. And so, you know, the colony, I guess, is just an extension on that. That, you know, I'm finally getting to build it in an actual... Like, I'm, at, I'm finally getting to build it. I'm, I'm finally getting to build my city, I guess. After all this time of never really doing it, I've finally just got the chance to build my city and to show you guys, because like I've said, this colony has been a huge dream of mine for a while, and just this Minecraft series in general, so. Life is good, ladies and gentlemen, life is good. I'm running low on time here, I've got about five minutes left. I keep time on my watch, by the way, if anyone's anyone's curious as to where I keep time during my episodes. Sometimes I forget to set it, and that always, that's always fun. So let's see, I think one more set of six should get us right to it. That's not as big now. Because now we're getting closer to the ground. The glorious aqueduct. Oh gosh, and we're going to run it right down onto the greenhouse. Fun times. Yeah, one more six thing should get it to it. Let's see, we got to go down here. Yup, ladies and gentlemen, it is good. Life is good, everything is good. Oh yeah, I got a free copy of, uh, I don't know if I said this in my last episode, but I got a free copy of Deuce X Revolution this week from a friend of mine. Planning on playing that sometime here. It's gonna be fun times, man. Fun times. Let's see if this gets us right over it. This gets us almost right over it. Alright, well that right there, let's see. I got five minutes, but I want to be able to survey this to make sure I've got it correct and repair those beams, so... I think, ladies and gentlemen, that this is where I'm going to cut it for this episode. I'm sorry it's going to be five minutes short, but I'd like to be able to survey everything and get it all ready before I finish up the last part of it, uh, which I will do in the next episode. So I hope you all enjoyed me building a stone structure, and oh, whoop, and I will see you all in the next episode of the Foss Builds Stone Structures. You know, geez. Um, so, you know, you liked what you saw and you want to show me that you liked it without having to do much work, hit the like button. Want to see more of the colony in my other series? Hit subscribe. Something you're dying to tell me? Put that in the comments section, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you all in the next episode. I hope you have a great day. This is the Foss, signing off.